All right, so the purpose of this video is just to show you some of my favorite, super basic, you know, training gadgets that you can get from Amazon. I actually couldn't find my, uh, the drinking bird, but I've got another video that I'll show you uh, of that. I've got one sitting around here somewhere, but these three items plus that little drinking bird are really fun ways to demonstrate some basic principles in HVAC, especially if you're gonna go, you know, maybe demonstrate at a high school or something like that, or you've got a booth somewhere. These are just kind of fun, neat things that you can show people. Now, before you ask, cause I know a lot of you will, I'm gonna have links for all of these products down in the description of this video so you can find them all. I'm gonna start with one of, the, one of my favorites because of its simplicity and that's the hand boiler. The hand boiler just has like an ether alcohol down in the bottom and when you grab the bulb, the liquid rises up through the stem to the top. Now, <laughs> my hand, I was just holding an ice cube so it's not quite as, uh, quite as effective and you will find that some people have warmer hands than others. If you warm up your hands with the hand boiler by a little more friction, that makes it go a little faster. But it's just a pressure differential. So as you add heat to the base, it actually starts to expand because this refrigerant has a very low boiling point in terms of typical liquids, but actually a high boiling point for a refrigerant. It uh, works really well just with your hand and uh, demonstrates that kind of boiling at different temperatures. Cause that's a concept a lot of people struggle with. The idea that boiling can happen at a temperature different than water. So boiling isn't always super hot. That's the hand boiler. The next one is the Stirling engine. And there are many different Stirling engines. This is just an inexpensive one. I've set an ice cube on top here. So that way we can create a temperature differential. So we've got cold on top, hot on the bottom. You can do it e either way. And then you just get it started spinning and it'll just go and go. So once again, you're just using a pressure differential, higher pressure air on the bottom because of the heat from my hand, lower pressure on the top because of the ice cube. And that moves these bellows up and down as that pressure builds and releases. So that's the miniature Stirling engine. This kit here has a brand name Udax on it, but I've seen a lot of different brand names. This is the kit that I actually like best uh, because it contains so many different things in it. Now this is actually two separate kits that I've thrown into the same bag, but it has a, a nice little guide um, that explains all the experiments. It has everything from a, a little uh, ammeter, inline ammeter, a voltmeter. It has uh, your light bulb holders, all sorts of connecting wires, rheostat, uh, a, little, a little generator that you can actually crank yourself. It has a bell circuit, a little fan motor. I've actually used this kit in several of my previous videos on electrical basics, but all kinds of really neat things that you can use to demonstrate some basic electrical circuits. And especially if you're going to be maybe going to a school, middle school, high school, and just teaching some basics, this has everything you're gonna need to do that. And it's inexpensive enough that you can get a couple of them. Also, even for helpers who are coming in who maybe don't have a lot of electrical experience, maybe they're install help or something like that, you could do a couple hour class and teach them the basics of building electrical circuits. You can give them a vision of how circuits work when they're working on things like low voltage electrical. All right, and that's it. This is the UDAX electrical kit. We have the Stirling engine, and then we have the hand boiler, as well as the drinking bird. All kind of cool little things that you can use to demonstrate some basics of pressures and temperatures and electrical for our trade. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing, you can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.